guys so um i've had a couple of requests to film a day in the life video so today i thought that i would do that um it's about 6 30 in the morning right now and i am just sitting on my patio and journaling so i'm all dressed and ready um i'm gonna go to a coffee shop get a coffee and then head to my parents store and then hop on the freeway and head to my doctor's appointment. Whoopee. But I have the dogs with me. Say hi. So, I'm gonna head out now and go grab coffee because I didn't sleep last night. You wanted a day in my life? A day in my life is a night where I don't sleep and then I have to run around the whole entire next day. So, welcome to my life. <laughs> Update, was running late, didn't have time for coffee. But, we're on our way to the Dr. doctor. Dr. Lewis. Not Dr. Lewis. Yeah, Dr. Lewis. I, what? Uh, I don't know. Oh God, I hope not. So I'm with my daddy <laughs> and my beautiful mommy. So we just parked and we are headed to the doctor's office now. I'm going to see an orthopedic surgeon for my back because I have really bad scoliosis and because of my degenerative disease, the muscles in my back um, have trouble holding up my spine and so I have to go get that checked out, see if I need surgery or therapy or whatever they can do to try and help it because it causes a lot of pain in my back which goes down to my legs and my arms and my neck and everything so hopefully we'll get something figured out today so i'm sitting in the waiting room and whenever i come to a hospital for some reason i get this comfort almost i feel very safe here whereas most people don't like hospitals or they feel uncomfortable here but um I don't know, I grew up in hospitals, and so here's where I feel safe and comfortable because I know that if I have an issue or a medical problem, which I often do, um, there's someone here to help me always. This is like a second home for me, as weird as that sounds, but I feel safe here. And yeah, I mean, it's different for everyone and it depends on your circumstances. But for me, I feel safe and comfortable here. And yeah. So this is what a day looks like when I have doctor's appointments. A lot of driving, a lot of waiting, a lot of sitting. There's my dad. A lot of Diet Cokes. A lot of caffeine. But, yeah, nothing really interesting, but I don't know. It's my life. It's a part of my life that I think a lot of people don't see or really understand. Um, and it's something that I kind of have trouble discussing sometimes or explaining fully and so I think it's important to see a person's life before you judge something about them or if you can physically see it judge them because you know they're different or if it's internal then you can never judge someone because you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they've been through. And so I think that's really important. And it's something I'm learning too and I'm working on every day. Um, but, you know, this is a part of my life that I never really share. And so, yeah. Here it is. 
so they just used this thing. It's um, an electric wave thing that shocks your nerves and it reads them up there, um, how fast they react. But as I was saying before, my doctor came in. Um, they use this um, to see how my nerves react, electrical um, like pulses, but they put little things on my um, different nerves and the um, currents shock the nerves in a certain place and then um, those little stickers that are on have wires that are connected to the computer and tell how fast um, the nerves react. And so, yeah. All right, so I am home now and I didn't end up filming the car journey home or the rest of my doctor's appointment, which lasted about five hours. Um, and the reason for that was I got some not great news. Um, and I found out that I am going to have to get at least four surgeries on technically it's six operations, but that was just what I found out today, um, along with a couple of other things. And we had to collect some data because they're starting to study people with my rare condition. And then I also have to meet with, I think, six different doctors for my hip, my back, um, this new thing that they believe I have after five hours straight of getting poked and prodded and getting shocked with electrical currents, just a bunch of stuff and doctors throwing all of this stuff at me that I just was trying to wrap my head around. And when they were telling me all of these things that I have to do to help my body not break down I was like yes they're right I do need to do this I know logically I do need to do this before it gets even worse um, and I was totally cool with it um, and then they left and I started kind of thinking and um, they can't do all the surgeries at once, so it's going to take over a year for all of the surgeries and then the recovery and therapy and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then, so that means this whole entire year that I took off from school to help my health get better um, will be spent surgery, bed, surgery, bed, surgery, bed, surgery, bed, and so on and so forth. But it's, um, it's not just cutting out one year of school, which was extremely hard for me to take off. It's gonna take away from another year. Um, and it's gonna mean that I'm not gonna get to do the things I wanna do, like traveling with my best friend in February because I'm gonna be stuck in a hospital bed it's it's gonna be there's just so much going on right now and I don't understand why these horrible diseases and these horrible things happen to people it just I can't okay I'm back um it's hard for me to wrap my head around how people can have these diseases when they've done nothing wrong, you know. I was born with this disease and I'll die with it. Um, and I've accepted that. Um, I've been through the grieving process and all of that, but I am going to think about filming a whole video on my health journey so far. Um, I say so far because it's not going to be ending anytime soon. Um, but if you guys want to see that, then let me know. Um, but 
that was a day in my life. Um, you know, I don't sleep through the night. I wake up and I go to doctor's appointments and I, I don't live the life that a lot of people who see my Instagram or who see me and talk to me think I live. I, yes, I live an amazing life and I love my life and my family and my friends. But there's always this dark cloud hanging over my head of chronic degenerative diseases. And they are things that are chronic. I can't, you know, I'm not going to heal from them. Um, they only get worse. And so, since I have a degenerative disease, my life is filled with doctor's appointments and things to try and help my body not deteriorate so quickly. And so, that was just a little view into my life. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a very, like, real vlog and, yeah, it's different, um, but I love you guys, and I want to be able to share this stuff not only for you guys to see and maybe get an understanding of kind of what it's like to have an illness, um, but it's also for me to look back at and see where I was and see how much I improve and their memories for me that I want to be able to come and like look back on. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and got to know me a little bit better, but don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be posting videos a lot more now and I hope that you guys liked the new intro that I made. Um, it was a lot of fun and I really like it. So let me know what you think about it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram. My username is at mindful.maggie and the links will be down below. You can also follow my personal Instagram, which is Maggie Clayton. Um, but I post a lot more on my vegan lifestyle recovery account. I don't really know what to call it. But I love you guys and I hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. And don't forget, you're beautiful, I love you, and stay positive. Bye!